Hello. So today in this session we are going to see the next sum that is sub question six of question number five. In this we have to prove an identity that root of one plus sine a divided by one minus sine a is equals to sec a plus ten a. So whenever you get this type of question that is root of one plus sine a divided by one minus sine a or one plus cos a divided by one minus cos a or in terms of sec uh, or cosec. So what you have to do here is you multiply the denominator and the numerator by the conjugate value of the denominator. So the same thing we are going to do here that it is one plus sine a divided by one minus sine a. So in the denominator it is one minus sine a. So I'll multiply with this conjugate value. If it is minus, so I'll multiply it by plus. That is one plus sine a. And in the numerator also, I'll multiply it by one plus sine a. Now, so one plus sine a, one plus sine a is nothing but one plus sine a the whole square divided by a plus b, a minus b. That is a minus b, a plus b. So it is in the format of that identity. So it is nothing but a square. That is one square minus b square. That is sine square a. Now, so. This is a perfect square value, so I keep as it is. That is one plus sine the whole square divided by one square is one minus sine square. Now we have studied an uh, identity that sine square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but equals to one. So therefore, cos square theta will be nothing but equals to one minus sine square theta. So in the place of one minus sine square theta, I can write cos square theta so 1 minus sin square a can be nothing but equals to cos square a so in the next step we'll write that this will be 1 plus sin a the whole square divide by 1 minus sin square a is nothing but cos square a now both are the perfect square values here so we take the values outside the root so it will become 1 plus sin a divided by cos square a will become cos a now this cos a is for both so that is 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a now what is 1 upon cos is nothing but so sec, so sec a plus sin a by cos a is nothing but tan a and that is nothing but equals to RHS so this is how we can prove this identity. So in the next session we are going to see the sub question 7. So till then practice all the identities that we have done till now. Thank you.